Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com, Primal Athlete Training Center, Cranston, Rhode Island. Here with Coach Anis Kassab. He's back. You remember Coach Anis would demonstrate a lot of the stuff uh, during the spring season and for the conjugate um, workouts and the conjugate uh, summer training that we've been doing. Uh, we've been doing it a little bit differently, just kind of showing things and explaining things. So today, what you're going to see is that I took video of all the exercises that I did. It's Friday, uh, Friday night. So my Friday workout is the same as your workout at the end of the week. It's our speed upper body work. Um, now, what you're going to see is just some of the stuff that I did. I did a, um, where is my stuff there? Two, week three. There it is. Day four. So we did, I did speed bench press with the addition of a mini band, one of our orange bands. Uh, 145 pounds of bar weight plus the bands, nine sets of three. Same thing that you guys are doing, but again, you've got different exercises. Dumbbell incline presses were my hypertrophy uh, secondary movement. My tricep movement is tricep press down. Uh, my rear delt movement is a rear dumbbell fly. And my bicep movement is a curl with the zigzag bar, the easy bar. Now this was, for me, you can kind of see here, this was the start of my new three week wave. So I'm gonna be doing those exercises for the next three weeks. Now you guys are starting off week four. Now week four for all of you, you're now gonna be choosing a new exercise as well. Now the goal of this and the goal that we kind of have for the college athletes that train here as well um, is that we want to select exercises and variations that we know they're going to be able to do in the weight room when they get to school. So, you know, they might not have bands, they might not have chains, um, they might not have boxes to do box squats. So we want to select exercises that they can do at school because they'll have sort of a, an idea of how much weight they can do and be able to break those records as they continue into the fall. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit. Um, you know, for most people, we gave them an example of either like a, a regular old back squat um, for their, you know, for their main movement on their max squat day, um, the bench press for their main movement on their max upper body day, you know, speed squats and speed bench. So um, if you could, let's go through some stuff here. So what are some um, other accessories, well not accessories, but other main movements that you've used in the past for squats? Um, you know, one of the best things that I did in the past for uh, some of my squat work was uh, adding a pause in the variation. That, was, that okay. was definitely something that I threw in. And um, another thing was uh, changing the bar position on my bag. So, you know, if you guys check out on YouTube or on, uh, you know, any fitness website really, you can check out uh, high bar squatting versus low bar squatting, changing the bar position on your bag. And then with that, you can bring your stance in, you can bring your stance out, you can add a pause, get rid of a pause, you can do like a tempo squat, slow on the way down, fast on the way up, and combining any two of those things right there can give you probably up to about 50 variations, I'd yep. say. Exactly, you know? and you can just, that's all it takes is slight variations, we talked about that, you don't have to go massive variations, like you don't have to do a back squat, um, just like you may have done the past three weeks, and then switch that up to do like a safety bar box squat with you know 200 pounds of chains you don't have to go crazy and vary it to that high of a degree you can just vary it a little bit by making your stance a little bit wider do that for three weeks make your stance a little bit narrower do that for three weeks make your stance what it is right now with a high bar or with a low bar or you can pause at the bottom one of our other coaches coach dan freeman who you've probably seen on uh, uh he does a lot of our social so social media um, you've seen him all over the place. Um, he likes to pause in the middle of a squat. So as he's standing up, he'll pause about halfway up and then finish by standing all the way up at the top. So there's a lot of ways to do it. What about bench press? Oh, bench press, there's a million of them. Billions of them. Do the same thing, uh, close, medium grip, wide grip. You can, uh, you can do it on the floor, so a floor press. I'm sure, I'm sure we've shown you guys in uh, some of our demonstrations in the past. And uh, you can bench press out of the rack, once again, with a close, medium, or wide grip. So that's like you know, nine, nine variations right there, yeah. even more. Dumbbell press, yeah. dumbbell incline press, mm -hmm. um, regular incline press with the bar. Um, even boards, you can board press. Uh, so one board, two board, three board. Um, you know, you can add chains, you can add bands. If you have bands or chains, you can add bands and chains. So the variations are endless. But again, don't go crazy. 
Uh, my variation, uh, the first week, what I was doing, so weeks 13, 14, and 15, I was doing a bench press onto a one board. So that's a two by six. Um, it's actually about one and a three quarter. It's not quite two inches thick. Um, Coach Anise would hold it on my chest. I'd bring the bar down to the board so it would limit that range of motion. Uh, that was weeks 13, 14, and 15. For week 16, I did a close grip bench press without the board. So you can see those are pretty similar. They're not too far um, apart from each other. It's not like the variation is that crazy. Um, and now for your accessory movements, kind of the same thing. You don't want to go crazy with the accessory movements, but again, just do something a little bit different from what you've been doing the past three weeks. So, you know, um, for my max effort lower body day, so day one, which was on Monday for me, uh, max effort lower body day, my heavy secondary exercise was a hex bar deadlift. Okay, um, somebody had sent an email saying that they went from a back squat um, with his daughter to a front squat, and the front squat was bugging her a little bit, so they went to a squat machine that they had at their gym. So machines are okay too, like a leg press, one person mentioned they were doing. That's fine, we like to, we don't have machines here really. Um, so, you know, we like to kind of just use free weight and kettlebell type movements. Um, give us a couple of heavy secondary exercises for squat. Uh, you, you know, the definitely some of the best are gonna be anything to develop your hamstrings. That's the biggest thing. The hamstrings and the hips are gonna be the powerhouses in the squat. So a deadlift variation, like Matt had said, is brilliant. You know, like a, an RDL or a dimmel deadlift, you know, these are all variations you guys can check out online. Uh, other good ones would be a different type of squat. So like Matt was saying, if you if you want to put on uh, the, the bar in front for an assistance exercise for like whatever, uh, five sets of five, four sets of six, whatever it may be, you can do that. That's definitely an option. And some other stuff that I've seen some people do, and you know, I don't know if uh, you know everybody would agree with this, but after you do your heavy work, you can back down and use the same exercise and just hit some reps with lighter weight. You know, I, I actually did a little bit of that today. Yeah, so it all works. He had 400 pounds today in the squat, box squat. <laughs> so wide stance, box squat, 400 pounds, just wearing a belt. It was, it was great. First time over 400? First time. 400, yeah. First time hitting 400 pound squat, more than I've ever squatted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so again, and that's another thing that you can do. Uh, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, I don't have kettlebells to do a goblet squat. Well, just grab a heavy dumbbell, hold it by the end. You know, even at your commercial gym, you know, if you do go to like a Gold's gym, maybe they have 100 pound dumbbells. You can get pretty heavy in most gyms and just do, you know, 100 pound goblet squat is pretty damn tough. So try that out too. Um, accessory movements. I love doing glute ham raises. Glute ham raises are fantastic. Um, I'd rather do a glute ham raise than like a leg curl. But if you have a leg curl machine at your gym, that works too. Um, walking lunges are another good one. Glute bridges with a barbell, even glute bridges with bands. Um, let's talk core stuff because a lot of you guys had questions on core stuff. Um, so give us a couple core exercises. Oh, well, what I've been doing recently for my core that's helped me the most is I've been doing a lot of it standing. So uh, if you guys have ever seen a cable crunch before where you just hold a tricep rope that you would do a normal tricep extension with, put it around the neck and then crunch down while standing up. That's definitely helped me get a little bit tighter in the squat. And um, what I like to say about assistance work, Matt, is um, not necessarily to do a million different exercises, but pick a few that you love and do them a million different ways. Right. You know what I mean? So uh, I'll do the cable crunches on one day, just going straight down, then I'll go like side to side. And like I said, you guys can check this out on YouTube or we could probably show you guys at some point. So, you know, uh, and um, other stuff would be like overhead sit-ups, so holding some weight over your chest, doing a sit-up and then going up and through we've demonstrated that yeah, we've shown that to you in all the previous ones you can check out um, something that I do I mean mentioning that that's a great idea stuff that you love to do do it a million different ways week 13 I did glute ham raises with just my body weight week 14 I held a five pound plate week 15 I held a 10 pound plate week 16 this week I held a 15 pound dumbbell next week I'll hold a 20 pound dumbbell and I'll just try increasing the weight. Now the reps are certainly gonna go down as the weight goes up, that's just what happens. But I'll get to a point now, maybe I'll go back and I'll just do body weight again, maybe on week you know, seven, and I'll try to do more repetitions. So the repetitions will increase even though the weight has decreased. So stay with the same exercise, but you can play with the numbers a little bit to do what works best for you. So. 
hopefully this kind of uh, takes care of a lot of the questions. I know we've had some questions, not necessarily in the Facebook group, but by email, people haven't shoot them to me. Make sure you leave them in the Facebook group. That way other people can read and other people can learn um, kind of what's going on. This workout is very basic, but you have so many options that you can kind of overthink things. Don't overthink it. Go heavy, go hard, follow the sets and repetitions that are in the workouts that you get every Sunday, and you guys will be all set. So um, right now, we're just going to show you clips of my workout today. Again, this was my um, speed upper body day. It had uh, band, uh, speed bench, incline dumbbell press, tricep press downs, rear flies, and bicep curls. All right, so guys, thanks for watching this. Coach Anise, Coach Matt, make sure to ask us some questions, email us, and we'll get back to you real quick. If you're looking for anything, whether it's camps, online coaching, eBooks, downloadable HD videos, click the link down below for EliteThrowsCoaching.com. Talk to you guys soon.